Yeah. I was saying to Reese while we were waiting for your asses to show up, isn't it ironic that the time that the four of us are actually on holidays with no work commitments is the time we can't get our shit together mm. to get in here and do a record? We... <laughs> it's been, it's been I'm just good. looking at Reese. Sure. sure, everyone's looking at me. Okay, I get it. It's fine. No. Didn't want to anytime, in, anytime, I'm good. <laughs> Except for that day. <laughs> what day is all free? I oh, and yeah, me, I'm not. <laughs> get into gate and happy New Year, indeed. This is our first episode of the New Year. Welcome back. If you are new to get into gate, my name is Mitch. Joining me, the full get into gate team. We have Maddie. Hello. We have Brendan. What's up? And we have Reese. Oh, welcome back, guys. We are here to talk about Stargate SG-1. Today is Season 3, Episode 12 and 13. We're doubling it up, a uh, two-parter that becomes a one-part podcast, Jolinar's Memories and The Devil You Know. Mainly because we didn't want to deal with Jolinar too much. Hey, guys, before we start on oh, our good friend Jolinar, uh, I went back and finally watched Korai. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. oh, yep, now, yep. this is season one, Corey, isn't it? Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, I went back to uh, season two and I'm looking for it. I'm like, oh, man, this is way ages ago. <laughs> and then, so yeah, I put it on and then saw our old mate from um, that religious one. I know, yeah. Yeah. From the demons. And I thought, <laughs> that's a young Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I thought for sure. <laughs> Holy shit. You're right. He's, uh, I took a photo yeah. of him. My mind's blown. Yeah. I took a photo How of him. How never noticed Show that? us. <clears throat> Look at that. That is, that's dead Holy set. Holy shit. Yeah, it's Fallon. like him in one of an wow. SNL skit yeah, well, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't laugh, Jimmy. Don't laugh. You're on Saturday Night Live. It's just another reason for me to hate Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as if there weren't enough. Jimmy there weren't Fallon, enough already. Headline, Jimmy Fallon wants what? to <laughs> kill Till. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's oh, I can't think of what else I'm going to say. I'll yeah. pretend to laugh. Oh, oh, this is just this is probably sure, the best. No, let me talk over you. Let me talk over you for a second. Let me talk over you. Hang on. Let me talk over you, though. This is, this is the greatest album I've ever seen. Let's play a game, uh, a game that I play every night, so I'm going to win every single game against yeah. every single guest. Oh I've my god! On the show. You tried really hard, but and it, then I'm going to rub it in your face. <laughs> so big fans. Yeah, so uh, we'll chuck that photo. And up then I'm going to go make Taxi Driver. Or was it Taxi? Taxi. Taxi Driver. <laughs> that was a bad movie. But yeah. how good was he in that uh, Christopher Walken's Cowbell skit? How good was he? I don't know. What yeah, it's it no, just funny because he, he couldn't keep character. <laughs> All right, as we do each and every... <laughs> as we do each and every week, let's revert to the DVD synopsis and find out what this is all about. And we're going to skip straight to the second half of the episode because that's the only DVD I brought with me. So oh, the I double, the other one. One. okay, here we no, go. I didn't. No, you didn't. Oh, teamwork. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Well, you got it. Oh, yeah, I'll do Same it. one. <clears throat> so just, just do what you did last time with Tokra and read the first bit. We'll pay it out. <laughs> and then read the second one. <laughs> All right. Carter's father has been captured on a moon, transformed into a literal hell, as no one has ever escaped from hell except for Jolina. Tokra technology is used to access Jolina's memories from Carter's mind, but not before an old foe shows up to foil the rescue mission. Was Jacob in this episode, was he? <laughs> <laughs> they forgot about him quick. Yeah, he was asleep the whole time. Yeah. Plus. That was the, that would have been the, like, the easiest week of work Carmen Argenziano ever got. This is all yeah, about you, yeah. and you're not in it, yeah, so don't you, even worry about you it. You are the linchpin. You're the reason we're here, and you've got, like, four lines. And just have a nap in the corner and pretend to be dying. <laughs> <laughs> no, just have a nap. We'll film around it. Yeah, It'll be fine. fine. And then part two, the devil you know. During an attempt to rescue Carter's father, who is in the episode, SG-1 <laughs> is caught by one of Hell's denizens? I've never read that word before. We'll talk, oh, about, yeah. that. We'll okay. talk about that in a minute, my friend. I looked that up. Determined to use the information they possess to overthrow the Guild Lord Sokar. Using Tokra technology, the team is forced to relive painful memories. But how much torture can they take? There you go. Not as much as we took watching this two-parter. <laughs> I actually enjoyed this a lot the first time I watched it. Oh, we all enjoyed it the first time, mate. What, yeah. do, you, what do you reckon, Reese? King Apophis is alive. <laughs> Hell, he's back! <laughs> Snake Cyborg above us. As soon as I was watching this um, with my missus, and before he took the mask off, I'm just like, when he goes, you will call me by my real name, I'm just like, oh my God. And she's like, what? Who is it? And, I'm, and he pulls his head up. I'm like, above us! <laughs> we, this is so sick, We man. have been like subtly mind f***ing with you for the last oh, half totally. season. Just to yeah. make you think he's dead, he's dead, I know. he's dead. When 
when you when you said last time, oh yeah, because you know he comes back in you know flashbacks and stuff. I'm like, oh, so yeah. he's actually dead. And you're I like, s- well, you saw it. I'm like, I was so devastated. That's right. I brushed man. you and started talking straight over that, and I could hear you just go, oh. like the, just the <laughs> devastation in your yeah. voice. You're just like so disappointed. Just like no more apophis in my head. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Yeah, and I think I brought it back into, and I think it was uh, the other Tokra one, the Hathor one, uh, Into the Fire. Great episode. It was. It was fantastic. Mm. And I said, "Well, Carter said that he was dead, but he's not." And you're like, "Oh, is he?" <laughs> oh, I, mean, oh. I mean, not, not definitively. <laughs> like, <laughs> but... Not well. The, the jury's out on that one. Is what I mean. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> He could. I think I might have been glaring across we'll, the room going, shut up with my eyes. Just shut yeah. up. Don't worry, we'll edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> well, eternal sunshine at outer reaches of mind. We well, are, because it doesn't, it's not a two-parter by name, as we know, That's what, but we're doing it anyway. But I actually, in story, it does feel like a two-parter. And through watching it, Brendan, I, I think I remembered having seen it for the first time. But before that, had you have asked me story details about this episode, Mm. I have no memory of this. I was watching it going, this feels like a fresh episode of SG-1 to me. Yeah. I have no memory of it. And the more they mention Soka, the more that I feel like I have zero memory of him as well. Yeah. Like I think it's the Apophis hangover though, Reese, because mm. I actually had forgotten that he come back as well because of this episode. And I've just loved Apophis. Whenever I think about SG-1, villains, I've said this before, I think about yeah. Apophis. He is absolutely boss and he proves this when he comes back yeah. in part two of this, The Devil You Know. And Soka is just like, I'm like, get mate like give us mm. give us back our real villain mm. but yeah just it i found myself really just disconnected from this episode like i watched a couple of episodes in a row and i'm just like oh, i'm checking my phone in this one i just didn't care yeah. especially jean and memories come yeah, the devil you know with his apophis mm. i got right back into it but this first yeah. one i just couldn't give two shits about it was it. too repetitive i found well reese what did you think of Sokar? because i feel like brendan and i have subtly been insinuating that Sokar was going to be an unas like system, yeah. goal, we were kind of like, you know, because I feel like that's the way they'd set it up. I feel mm. like every time we, you know, we've been talked about Sokar, his, the image that he projected up on the, uh, up on our iris yeah, and yeah. that sort of stuff, he was made out to be this sort of big be all and end all and yeah. taken out in one Shit. episode. Yeah. It was a, it was a real non-event. Like it was, mm. yeah. If something's beefed up to be that big, like you'd think it's going to be a big, big storyline arc and. Come, come right into it and be the be the main enemy. But you know, in saying that, I think they did the right thing, bringing Apophis back. Mm. Yeah, because oh, they're yeah, like definitely. they must have done these makeup or something. Gone, hey, isn't he meant to be an Unos? And they're like, oh shit, uh, let's kill him. Yeah. No, <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not done. I'm not going back to the <laughs> yeah. bloody. Yeah. yeah. Interestingly, though, they do actually bring that that actor back because I think he does. He is really menacing, and he's got a great flanged voice. So they actually do bring him back to play a different Guaul. Oh, I was going to say um, he looks very similar. Yeah, well, no, no, new- you never see his face. Oh, okay. But you, um, he does come back to play another really crucial yeah. Guaul character in, in some later seasons. The thing, <laughs> the thing that I laughed about a lot is to me he was like he's the Lex Luthor of um, <laughs> yeah. of System Lords, and ironically he married Lois Lane. He married he's actually he actually married um, Erica Durant. Oh, really? Played Lois Lane in um, Smallville. Yeah. Yeah, who then actually goes on to play like Tilk's girlfriend in one episode. Oh yeah, in like season of and then Michael season seven or season eight or something like that. Wife in that new show they did. Uh, oh, the hospital that is. one. Yes, yeah. oh, I never saw that. No, saving no one, hope. No one did. <laughs> <laughs> they should have brought a poffers into it. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that though, if they did. Like he comes, he's just he, he's actually a patient. He's laying in a bed, just like dying, and Daniel's standing over him, or Michael Shank's standing over him. It's like, hang on, there's a bit of deja vu. Yeah. Stargate's on in the corner of the TV. Yeah. Oh shit! And she's like, and he's yeah. like, your mate Amanette is dead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> didn't he want to just throw man. that out at him? Your mate Amanette is dead. Sorry to ruin your day. Oh, Zing. Sassy. No, actually, I'm, I'm wrong about that. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I just realized you wouldn't understand sarcasm. Yeah. <laughs> Is that really necessary? Like... <laughs> My main note about episode two here is Apophis is boss. And that's because he, like, you know, Sokar has done his best, you know, like through, you know, from the other side of the galaxy through the gate, keeping their gate on and heating it up and all that other stuff. In this, he's got him trapped in this planet. He's going to, you know, kill Jacob. All this other stuff's going on. Apophis just basically makes them relive their own memories and mm. fucks them over yeah. so much more than any other villain aside from him has done ever in this show. And he's doing it without really lifting a finger. He's just sitting across the other side of the room and just making them 
relive their own torture. Yeah. And it was yeah, so that, effective. And I just I brought so much into the, each and every one of those scenes. I loved Char- it. That Charlie scene was rough. Yeah. That yeah. was rough going. Oh, hey. Especially when they started to give Carter the uh, the blood of Cosby. I mean, the, the blood <laughs> of Sucker. <laughs> Because they didn't use the mind thing, right? Until the Poffers found it, started um, using them in yeah. Because together, his, his little his little side bitch found the uh, Martuf's controller for it. Yeah, and that's when he figured out. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't you immediately remove that thing when you know that you've been captured? You would throw that out, right? Throw it in the lava. Yeah, especially when they. We've got lava here. Use it. <laughs> especially when it's when free. It's free to use. Lava. Yeah. When you don't even have to the... rent it. <laughs> when have you seen lava before? It's perfect. <laughs> and when take a, pop... a bottle home with you. Yeah. Anyone got any dope? Throw that in there. <laughs> Given that when Martu first used it, and he was trying to be nice with it on the cargo ship, it yeah. was like torture for Carter. Yeah. yeah. He was like, shut it off. Shut yeah. It off. Yeah. And then so it's like. The dude searches them, finds the controller, takes runs and takes it to Apophis. You think at, during that point, you think one of them would go. Maybe we should take that off you and just yeah. throw it away. Yeah. Not, you know? At least the control a bit, you know. Yeah. Because I think she could access it, right, if she if she thought about things. Yeah, but that's what I mean. If they've got the controller or yeah. they know about it, you think they'd just pop it off the back of her head and yeah. throw it away somewhere. Like I was just thinking throw away the controller because even if yeah, but they even, couldn't crank even once, it up. Even once Apophis's lieutenant guy yeah. found the controller, he didn't yeah. use it on them. He yeah, went and, ran right. and gave it. Apoph- so that's there was right. literally the, time yeah. from when they were discovered like that... five minutes. Yeah. What's yeah. this? Nothing. Mm. Leave it on, you'll be right. And yet they... <laughs> we'll just see what happens. What's the worst? What's the best that could happen? They found that, but they didn't find the long-range communication device mm. that was contacting with Tia. When, yeah. Yeah. No, what, they, did, did Daniel they suppository did. that? Like... <laughs> Well, no, they did because the Apophis quick, goes... Quick, speak into my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, it's the only way. Yeah. <laughs> Closer. Closer. Okay. But that's when, yeah, Apophis, you're like, oh, he's back when he... F- he, do- he does find the communicator because he goes, Tilk, this is your guard, Apophis. Oh, that's I was just right. like, oh, imagine that. Yeah. Oh, Even after right. all this. <laughs> he's like, he, he was probably thinking in his head, shit, maybe he is a god because this guy will not <laughs> <Yeah>. die. <laughs> imagine how he'd just be like, oh, you f***ing <laughs> kidding me. Yeah. How many times we got to kill this guy? <laughs> so <laughs> annoying. It I is. Mean, I do, I'm going to get a that's one for this, but that faceplate was so seven of nine from Star Trek. It was ridiculous. Whose faceplate? Apophysis, you know, he's got that, like, the oh, right. of the yeah, opera, yeah, yeah. you know. Which, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. which it's, it's, the one good thing, though, is as you see him a little bit more over time, it starts to heal, so it's like that actually gets smaller and smaller oh, as, okay. like, skin grows over it, That's which cool. I thought was pretty cool. That's one. Yeah, because they couldn't afford the burning face mm. apparatus. Well, <laughs> even at one point, though, his, his eyes, like, all congealed over and, like, all scarred over, mm. but they still slightly glow it. Like, when he glows his eyes, you just <laughs> see this tiny little bit of glow come underneath, and I was just like... I like it. Mm. Okay. Teal had a great line at the start of Jonah's memories when you know they they said we've got to fly this this ship you know where we're going to go you know Teal can you fly this vessel and just that sort of like where he cocks his head to the left a little bit with great proficiency yeah of course I like, can of course like, can now I'm fucking Teal Jaffa please yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, now I do remember in the last well the last two part we had was the um, season two season three closer and open arm um, we we gave it to Michael Shanks and his. Lackluster, sort of, you know, performance and lack of oh, caring yeah. through that. It's a little line here that I feel like Daniel maybe could have just sold a little bit harder. My lungs are burning. Wow. <laughs> Wait My lungs are burning. Wow, hang on. Let's do that again. Way to hang sell on, the peril there. My lungs are burning. Are like, they though, mate? Yeah, like uh, print that. <laughs> I don't, sorry, to, sorry to interrupt, guys, but I'm just slowly dying. Yeah. Um, just let you know. Cheers. Yeah. My lungs are burning. Peter DeLuise is like, <laughs> oh, we'll fix it in post. We'll do some ADR. And yeah. then you just totally forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, his way was way better. Yeah, actually, I prefer that. Now, there's something you touched on, Mitch, uh, in the synopsis. A certain word. Oh, yes. Uh, denizen. Now, was, it, was I pronouncing that correctly? Well, let's just see. I mean, did they mention it in the episode at all? It is how all the damned are sent to name to you by Silkar, and it is how we must also arrive if we are to convince the other denizens. Denizens. The denizens. 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 <laughs> Like, everyone f***ing got in on that shit. Yeah. Mm. I think I looked it up even. I Googled it. And what is that? Well, it's just... What is it? It's just like Occupants, people that live people. there. They could yeah. have said... I've, uh, I've, I've, I preferred it when... Residents. At, at the start. Yeah, they could have used residents. I preferred Cell it meets. when... Um, <laughs> well, in the start of that, um, Martouf says damned. They're in hell. Yeah. They're the damned. Like, that's yeah. uh, that's fine. But that's no, sick. I feel like... Well, these are the first-time writers, too. The the team, that the duo that wrote the first half, 
first and last. That's it. They're done. And then <laughs> oh, really? I think they realised that <laughs> Good they job. See, weren't so right. great. And then Robert Cooper took over. For, Comes in uh, to clean things up. <laughs> clean things up in the second oh, episode. Oh, man, you know you're bad if bloody <laughs> Robert C. Cooper comes on the clean up. <laughs> Re save me of that time. So there was a um, another Wizard of Oz reference. Oh yeah, the Emerald City. Colonel. Yeah, certainly not as Emerald City. So we're gonna add that one to the tally. Yeah. What is that so far? I don't know. Everyone looks at me. <laughs> I've told you multiple times. You're the tally times. guy. No, I'm taking the tally of how many times Daniel sleeps with chicks who aren't his wife. Well, while any you're taking tally, that tally. Any other tally well, is up to well, you guys. Well, what's that tally what about, then? What about the Daniel death tally? So argu- you, well. Arguably, the Wizard of Oz references would be less work than the Daniel <laughs> sleeps with <laughs> <laughs> Right, so one of you guys, take it or not. I'm flat out watching I, I don't episodes. know about you guys, but I reckon Mark Toof's a f***ing dickhead. Yeah, I'm with you there. Really? I don't like him. Yeah. I don't know. He's, he you. seems very entitled well, it's to me. It's just like, uh, he's a denizen. I was like, shut up. <laughs> oh, don't blame him for bad writing. Like... No, I do hate when he gets a little bit entitled like that, when yeah. he does talk down to them oh, like Samantha. that a little bit. <laughs> oh, look at my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has some serious teeth. Being a toker is a great dental plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. You... Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Free medical. Sam's, all right, Sam's flashback is boring. Jack's flashback is hardcore with the kid gun thing. Yeah, that was pretty full on. That was pretty hectic. I was just like, Fuck "What was right. um, what was Jackson's one?" He didn't have one. He didn't have one because yeah. that's when they were trying to find Tilk or something, or something happened. And then oh, Daniel punched that Jafar in the guts, and it didn't do anything. I'm like, "Isn't his pouch right there?" Yeah, his hand would go right he should in. Should have gone straight in, grab that oh, thing, pull it out. Like, <laughs> that's rough. Oh, my man, China. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed something on my rewatch. It's something I never noticed before is something Sam says. I don't want to get too weird about it, but it's something Sam says about Bina. There was a gold on Netu, not Sokar. He was, um, let's just say he was less than attractive. I know his name. I, just, I can't find it. But I get this horrible, sick feeling when I remember him. Something happened between him and Jolinar. Something worse than the torture and pain. Something Jolinar never wanted Martouf to find out about. Something worse than the torture and the pain. Now, I get a little bit of a rapey vibe off that. Yeah. Mm. But then cut to later on, and it kind of feels more like Jolinar seduced by an R to get out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So all I'm left to think is, is having sex with him to do that was worse than the torture Yeah, when she, she's the one that seduced him to do it. To get out I of think, it. well, for me, that but was... But it was, it was worse than the torture because he was less than Maybe attractive. she had to lick yeah. his little pus eye or something. Well, no, that came later. <laughs> oh. so, that pus eye was amazing, though. Seriously, that that's was some, so hot. That's some of the best. <laughs> but no, Sokar took that yeah. when she... So he had two eyes when they were together. Yeah, yeah. So it was just I, a joke. <laughs> I just feel like she's just going, oh no, I had to sleep with a really unattractive guy, and that yeah. was worse. I'd yeah, rather the, be tortured. I to slept death. with a two. <laughs> oh, yeah. Worst day of my life. The, the less than attractive line is very weird. Uh, aside from that, yeah. if you take that out, I just get that the idea that she had to. This guy's obviously a bad guy. Yeah. Like, mm. it's a prison world, for lack of a better term, really. Yeah. Yeah. And that yeah. she had to go and have sex with this awful, murderous rapist guy yeah. to get out of there and that was horrible the fact that she had to do that quote unquote willingly but the, yeah the line oh, he I've was seen girls do that for a free drink <laughs> are you sure are you sure because I've bought a lot of girls a lot of drinks <laughs> obviously not the right one sometimes I forget who I'm in the room with <laughs> but yeah I think attractive was the wrong word for her to use yeah, I mean, yeah like, that, I think maybe less the... than human yeah. or you know but then the other thing is you think well the the Tokra are a symbiotic species. They're used to like swapping bodies. Like you look at Carter's dad was in a female body and it's a man's body. Mm. Would the Tokra really get hung up on using mm. sex to get out of prison or something like you know? Would yeah. they be that or maybe repressed sexually? Maybe that's what made her feel so bad is because she, as the Tokra, used the body. Mm. 
to get out. Yeah, because the body wouldn't. The body is only ever used to being herself. Now she's willingly sharing her mm. body with Shona. And yeah. so she's not into it. But the memory... But the, <laughs> the, 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 so Joel and I raped her host. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That well, would be worse well, than yeah. torture and pain. Well, that's like, that's yeah. well, interesting. Well, Technically, no, the, yeah. The, 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 what Sam says is Joel and I is so sort of embarrassed and horrified that Martouf can never find out. So she's more worried about what Martouf, her partner, will think uh, than what she did she to did her host. <laughs> <laughs> um, did it occur to anyone that the Tokra's plan was really, really dumb? Yeah, especially when he goes, oh, we got to go down in the escape pods. No, no, no. I mean the other Tokra at the end when they want to blow up the moon. They're like, oh, well, Apophis mm. is rebelling, so we're going to we're gonna hope Sokar gets in his ship and yeah. gets into orbit, and then we're going to launch the the missile thing that takes 12 minutes <laughs> yeah, to take effect and hope they don't figure it out, and then when the planet starts blowing up, which... Isn't gonna happen instantaneously. Mm. No one detects it. Sokar's dudes did. Yeah, they detected it like a minute out. Yeah. So and they were like, "We have to move the ship." And the only reason it worked is because that's when Apophis started slashing dudes down. Yeah. And it's like, well, it's like the pilot had to run down from the bridge yeah. to tell Sokar and run back up and <laughs> drive and, away. And Teal's <laughs> underneath the ship catching the uh, the, the beam from yeah. the rings yeah. and there's pulses firing at him. So there's dudes firing it at the... Um... Stormtroopers, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but they would they would have had to have gotten Sokar's okay before they opened fire on a ship. Yeah. Like, yeah, true. But the ship never moved. It just happened to just stay there and get blown up. But then Apophis ringed to the planet anyway. So it was just the dumbest plan... Yeah. Like, I feel like the Tokra deserve to be extinct. Like, Absolutely. Just yeah. being how... <laughs> Don't be so picky with hosts. That'll... <laughs> and just dumbass plans like that. Like, yeah. no wonder why they're always about, like, infiltrating and, and doing yeah. sneaky thing. Because an all-out attack like that, it's just dumb as hell. Mm. Yeah. Ugh, it annoyed uh, me. And yeah, why was... well that ends well. <laughs> why was Soka ever going to move his mothership close to the planet? But that made no sense. Yeah, well, wasn't he going to... To the moon, yeah, from the Yeah, and it's like, what was he going to do? Eradicate the entire moon from orbit? No, he just wanted Apophis to quell the rebellion. So he could have sent down, like, a thousand Jafar to grab Apophis and bring it back up. There's rings from the planet. They didn't need to get in a ship and take it in. It's Yeah, Yeah. it's just... Cooper! (laughs) (laughs) Smelly Pooper! Smelly Pooper! (laughs) Doesn't at one point when uh, when Apophis is um, interrogating um, Carter, he calls her Major Carter. There's no way he's gonna know that. Yeah, he didn't know she got a, a promotion. Apophis. Yeah. yeah, how's he gonna know she got a promotion? Oh, she probably told him like bloody Flash Gordon. Did she have a? Oh yeah. Uh, excuse me, Apophis. <laughs> Just before you talk to me, I'm a fucking major now. Thanks. <laughs> no, no, no. What actually happened is um, what was the guy's name? What was his name? No, you're not. Aris Bok. Aris, Aris Bok. Aris Bok. He actually did. He was sarcastic, saying he was gonna go and tell oh. the universe about a promotion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He actually did. He sent out a blast and told everybody. Did you hear about Captain Carter? Yeah. Yeah. She's now major. She changed her name. <laughs> spread it's weird. The, spread the word. It's kind of a major deal. So now Apophis controls Sokar's fleet. Because Sokar's so dumb. Mm. Well, yeah. But again, and that ties into the shitty plan. It's like, well, yeah. if the ship had been destroyed with Sokar on it, wouldn't Sokar's next in line, like Sun, Air, yeah. Lieutenant, whoever, just taken over the army and still done the same thing? Yeah. Mm. Like, but this time I guess in, yeah. in a generation, the planet will fall out of its orbit. <laughs> yeah, but. well, it's how did like if if you like if our moon was made out of lava and we blew it up, I feel like it'd damage our planet somehow. Yeah, yeah, it and maybe affect our orbit and yeah. tides and kind especially of, lava. Like it'd harden in space and come down like massive meteors. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah, no, Cooper, <laughs> <laughs> do your homework, mate. Yeah. <laughs> So Apophis rose to first prime. Well, what yeah. was it first prime? Yeah, yeah, a first prime. A, a also. How did that start? Well, they sent him down to the planet, and he just made everyone his bitch, basically. Oh, they sent yeah. him down as a prisoner. Yeah, yeah. So I feel right. like when when we sent back Apophis's dead body, Soka must have tortured him for a couple of months or whatever, and then we got cut, cut half his face off. Cut off his yeah. face off. Did or whatever. Got bored with him and oh, you bore me now, and sent him to 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 Natu. Yeah, right. And then just let him live out his days there, but yeah, obviously, you know, know Apophis being the conniving little son of a bitch he is, yeah. mm. <laughs> managed to work his way up and... Trading stores. Yeah. yeah. Imagine what he did to get to where he was. 
Imagine, You'd have done worse than Joe. Imagine, yeah, imagine what he and Bino got up to. <laughs> <laughs> the um, the guy who was um, ended up being Apophis's little um, lieutenant, first prime guy. Oh yeah, yeah, the one that found the little controller and stuff. Mm. He comes back in like the second last episode of the entire series. He's the the bomber that t- that Tilt goes after. Oh, okay. In, is it Dominion or Tal- Talion? Whatever. <laughs> Anyway, he's the Scarface, Moonface guy that blows up the Jafar encampment oh. until it goes on the rampage and stuff. Right. That's him, Sam Actor. Yeah, okay. This is the first of many. I feel like Peter DeLuise might have a bit of a fetish for muscly, sweaty men. Oh, who doesn't? <laughs> this. <laughs> I'm not going to begrudge it to him. But if you notice in this, there's a lot of um, what Peter DeLuise refers to later on is mucho, mucho queso, as in much, much cheese. He likes, like, sweaty, muscular, shirtless men in the background. I don't know. He's a bit of a chubby guy, and he does get fit. So maybe he's got this weird fitness fetish. I don't know. Mm. But he's got this episode. He directed Beneath the Surface, more of the same. Warrior, more of the same. Orpheus, more of the same. (laughs) Evolution, Daniel Jackson as a sweaty, shirtless buff guy (laughs) um, being drenched in water. And then Babylon in, like, season 9 or season 10, whatever it was. And that's just SG one. I don't even know what he does in um in Atlantis. So I just feel like maybe he's got a little bit of a a fetish going on there that we just might need to keep an eye on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's doing fine himself. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone notice see the it felt like a bit of a slight Star Trek re- uh, Star Trek Star Wars reference. That's oh, three. Geez, you were close. <laughs> so close. Um when um Martuf is being interrogated about where the, the Tok'ra base was and mm. like, oh, they're on Entech. It really reminded me mm. of, of Vader and um, and Leia when she's like, Dantooine. Mm. They're on Dantooine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was a saving grace for me for, for Martouf there a little bit as he lied and I'm like, oh, you little bitch when he first said it. Yeah. Like, yeah. You can handle That's it just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And nah. No, nah, he lied convincingly, and I'm like, all right, yeah, okay, yeah. mate, props to you. Jeez, yeah. imagine how many cyanide pills he could fit in those teeth. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of that other Toker guy, Tilk just fully smacked him in the face, didn't he? He punched him. Oh, the guy that launched the... the he's the like, all right, stuff. let's leave, Tilk, and he's like, no, nah, we're going to go rescue him. He's yeah. like, no. Nah. Love like, he just punches him, pushes him into the cargo hold, yeah. closes the door. It's like, shut up, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Tilk. This is why I came along. I knew yeah. you'd do this shit. They did give him, <laughs> they give him kind of a... <laughs> They gave him a little a little toker to fight though. Like they could have yeah. given him a bigger toker. Yeah. Yeah. But you know. It was kind of good. He just bitch slapped. Oh, he punched yeah. him, but a bitch slap would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Um the power Rangers, Green. The Power Rangers just reboot film. I sla- you, did you slap me with an open hand? Yeah, weird, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they have like big tokra? Like mu- like the muscle? A couple. You see sometimes some guards like flanking, like yeah. they'll flank Martu for someone like that when they come through. Right. Not really. Nothing to run None that get about. any lines. They're all just stuntmen. You know yeah, something's about yeah, yeah. to happen it's when this. It's pretty things. much just Martu and Carter who represent Tokra now. Or for, oh, for the Tari. Oh, for this season. Next season we get um, a oh, niche. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. We'll talk yes, about that please. when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds exciting, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. Another Star Trek ripoff, but we'll get there when we get yeah. there. So, you know. Uh, it's that time of the season, actually. Oh, it's time to find out if Reese has been paying attention. Corai edition. Corai edition. <laughs> <laughs> is Jimmy Fallon good? Yes or no? Oh, tough question. No, no. no. <laughs> Correct. I'll answer for everybody. No. <laughs> this is this is something you can get on Stargate Command. They have these what amazing mean? trivia questions. That you can you can get it for free. You don't have to pay for the trivia questions. Some of them only have one question, which is great, because you don't want to spend too long on it. Oh, yeah. like <laughs> You wouldn't go on just for the trivia questions. And then when you win it, you go, it goes back to the top of the page, so you've got to scroll all the way back down to right. find where you were. To it's great, great question. stuff. Wow. Like, I hope they didn't put so, too, well put too much money into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, other bit of trivia before we start. Um, just because we talked about it a lot, Dion Johnstone, who's a recurring sort of background actor. Oh, yeah. He was Apophis. When Apophis had the mask on in the first episode, when he was Neil Nuck. That oh. was actually, that wasn't actually Peter Williams. That was I, um, Dion Johnstone. Yeah, Didn't I think always, he looked familiar. Always, <laughs> <laughs> the chain mail face. Like, always, well, if, if we're not going to see his face, what's the point in paying Apophis for that episode? We'll just pay for that one thing. Because I always thought yeah. he didn't really sound like Apophis until mm. right then. That, that revealing scene. That um, yeah. The scream he does sounds like E.T., don't you reckon? <laughs> Dying. 
bit deaf. Blew my ear out. <laughs> Sorry, listeners. <laughs> nah, Mitch, Mitch will fix it in post. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds fun to me. It sounds fun to everybody. <laughs> All right. So, for those who don't know, we like to test Reese on his knowledge of Stargate because he's new to the series. It's not great, to be honest. No, it's been rubbish so far. I meant the questions. Oh, oh shit. Burn. <laughs> I'll get you back next week. Uh, <laughs> so, we, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Reese is going to answer five questions. They're just short answer questions. We don't have time for multiple choice, etc. So your time will start at the end of the first question. Who gave the unstable vortex its Kawush nickname? No idea. Me neither. How many glyphs does a Milky Way DHD have? Seven. No. What is the oh, that's, power that's source? What, well, what is the power source of a zap gun? <laughs> Oh, that bloody Stargate mm. shit. Yeah, fast. <laughs> Which device allows travel to an alternate reality? Oh, the mirror. Quantum. Correct. Which device on Samiria kills Gwaulds? Gwaulds. Hammer. Correct. Oh, very <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, you were real close. Mm. <laughs> 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 the... And I mean, really, if you're on Stargate Command, you need to answer these questions quick because yeah. they will disappear in a few months. So. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, too, if you get all the questions right, you get points. So it's kind of like mm. Bitcoin. Oh, do, what you, a, do you get a the, t-shirt? Or do you, you get, get to pay your... No, you, you just get to be like cooler. Oh, don't they, don't they put... Right. Don't, don't you get a rank? Like they'll put a little fake yeah. rank in front of your name so you go yeah. from being an airman to a lieutenant. Yeah. That's cool. Dumb. The top one is Ascension, so that's pretty cool. Nakwado is the answer I was looking for. Correct. So, <laughs> yeah. How many glyphs on the DHD, the dial home device? Uh, 38. Yeah, recently never know, know that. <clears throat> we say it. We've said it a few times. But 38. Don't blame Ooh, me. It's how Stargate convenient. Command. And is, it, is there 39 on the gate? And then yeah. 38 on the DHD? Mm. So I think that's right. Really? But that's not the question. What is the power <laughs> source of the Zat gun? Nakwado. Nakwado. Nakwado, yeah. Which device allows travel to an alternate reality? You got that one, Quantum Mirror. And Thor's Hammer, you got. So three out of four. Yep, this is what Daniel Jackson reckons, though. Reese, your father made you wrong. So terrible. <laughs> so bad at this, Reese. You stupid son of a bitch. Did you have five <laughs> questions? <laughs> yeah. What was you, the fifth you never question? got there, though, did you? What? Who who gave the who turned coined Carter. the phrase Kawush? I said that. Oh, the Kawush. When was that? Maybe I didn't. No, you, you didn't. You <laughs> completely you didn't. didn't. You Carter did. did. Carter gave it. When a was that? I don't know. Season one or something. Are you sure? Don't ask me. Ask friggin' MGM. <laughs> There's a lot of money put into these questions, pretty, mate. Pretty sure Don't MGM. Second have... guess them. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Compared to this is from the command website. Yeah. I'm pretty sure MGM have as little to do with that yeah. website as possible. They just get the profits. Oh, no. if there is any. All right, that is episode 56 of Get It Again. Jonas memories and the devil you know. We will be back next week to talk about. Foothold. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, One of the Foothold. 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 No, shit. Sorry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's the name of the alien. You're right. So, yeah. It's the apostrophe in there. Yeah. yeah. Make it an alien name in English. Yeah. Correct. We will be back then to talk more Stargate SG One. In the meantime, you can uh, check us out on the socials: Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can uh, check out all of our podcasts wherever you find good podcasts: iTunes, the uh, SoundCloud, the Android Place. All of that. Uh, just simply search Get Into Gate, a Stargate podcast. Myself, Mitch underscore Lewis on Twitter and Instagram. Matty. Hi, Mitch. Matty. <laughs> I'm delirious. Do we hear that when we go to your MySpace page? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brendan. Oh, hey, guys. You can find me at the Brennan Gibson. And Reese. Epic. Uh, I am. <laughs> I am at the Flying Gibson. And just a shout Straight out up. while we're talking about him all episode, <laughs> Peter Williams, who is the actor that played Apophis. If you follow him on Twitter, if you want to, his handle is at Actual Apophis. And oh, I think awesome. that deserves yeah, the biggest it. shout out at Actual Apophis. Peter Williams, that uh, you can go check him out. He's uh, I'm on he it. He, uh, he did like one of our Facebook posts as well. Yes, he did. Um, the the the, the guy that, for the the Russian Stargate fan page on Facebook, Vlad, yep. that shares all. Yeah, Vlad, that's it. Yep. He, he shares all our all our posts, and he's actually friends with Peter Williams on Facebook. Peter Williams actually liked the post when we did. Um, yeah, why wouldn't he? Serpent song. <laughs> it's good content. Well, it's a big it's a big picture of Apophis, so of course. Yeah, yeah right. I like my face. Oh, 
Who doesn't, mate? All right, catch us back next weekend for more. Get in the gate. We're talking Foothold, Stargate SG1, Season 3, Episode 14. We'll catch you then. Bye. Get into geek.com.